So Eastern Optics manufactures a variety of test systems that are used to test radars and radar altimeters. There are a couple of examples here today. This first box is a simple fixed delay, operates from about 100 megahertz to 18 gigahertz and provides about 250 microseconds of, of delay. That's equivalent to about 20 radar miles. The second box gives you a little more flexibility because now you can select using this rotary front panel switch from a variety of different fixed delays. This is very useful at radar repeater sites where you want to extend the range of, the, of a uh, radar test tower uh, but not expand the range geographically. Adding this system to that uh, radar test site allows you to extend the range, increase the, the target distance uh, for many, many miles. So these are, these are systems that are used with uh, typical tracking or surveillance radars. But another common uh, radar system that we provide test equipment for are radar altimeters. These are the devices used on aircraft to determine uh, altitudes, aircraft altitudes from zero to about three or four uh, kilometers in, in altitude. So there's a system down here that's commonly used in both the manufacture and the calibration and test of those radar altimeters. This uh, uh, system reads out in, in, in altitude. So any altitude uh, can be selected from the front panel uh, or it may be entered from a keyboard. And in addition to giving the typical altitude that you'd expect to see for uh, uh, a different air, air, aircraft height, it also automatically sets the approximate uh, loss that the altimeter would expect to see for typical round trip signal. This unit also has a calibration mode where the instrument itself can be calibrated uh, using an external NIST traceable instrument and, and those, uh, that calibration is then stored in the instrument. It also provides some antenna installation delay features. So any of these multiple aircraft installation delays can be added. This is the delay that's associated with the cabling that's used on board the aircraft between the altimeter that's located in the cockpit and the antennas that are mounted on the underside of the aircraft. And then of course there's a system tab that will record uh, any kind of uh, anomalies with the equipment when it's used in remote control mode. And as with many of our systems, they can be operated from this front panel control or there is a, a set of skippy commands that can be used to control it remotely. Uh, customers can develop their own scripts for operating the equipment uh, in any fashion that they, uh, that they choose. Um, and in, in addition to that, uh, we'll provide some software uh, capability with the unit to, to help our customers with uh, uh, programming the equipment on their own.